So I think it's fair to say that one of the major flaws with Fire Tablets is the lack of the Google Play Store and Google applications, which means there's no YouTube, there's no Gmail application, there's no Chrome browser on Fire Tablets. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually install the Google Play Store onto your Fire Tablet and get all of those amazing Google applications. I did a video like this about a year and a half ago, but I figured it's a good time to do an update so let's get started. So I have here the Fire 7 tablet, but keep in mind you can do this with any Fire tablet 2014 and newer. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure to remove any micro SD cards. So open up that micro SD card slot on your Fire tablet, make sure there's nothing in there. Then you're gonna head over to your settings. Then you're gonna go to security and privacy. Then you're gonna scroll to apps from unknown sources. Click that option and you should see the Silk browser there. Click it. Then you want to make sure to toggle allow from this source to on. You want to make sure that the Silk browser has the ability to make these downloads because that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be downloading files to install the Google Play Store onto your Fire tablet. Once that's finished, head over to the Silk browser. In the description of this video, I put a website link where you're going to download all the files that you're going to need. So copy that link and paste it into your Silk browser. There you'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the Google Play Store. It's from howtogeek.com and it's actually a really helpful and useful article. But of course, I'll show you what to do step-by-step -step in this video. But I like this article because it has all the links to all the APK files that you're gonna need to download to install the Google Play Store onto your tablet. You're gonna install a total of four APK files, but don't worry. It's not that complicated, and I haven't had any issues with my tablet since I did this. So on the website, you're gonna scroll to where it says Google Account Manager. Now you're gonna download the specific APK file based on your Fire tablet that you have. If you don't know what Fire tablet model you have, you can go to your settings, then to device options, then about Fire tablet, and you'll see which Fire tablet you have there. So keep that model in mind as we download these files. So under Google Account Manager, click the link for the specific Fire Tablet model that you have. I'll go ahead and click this top link. Then you'll scroll down to Download APK. Click that button. And then you might see a message pop up saying, file might be harmful. Once again, I haven't had any issues with these downloads. My tablet is still working just fine. And if you feel comfortable personally downloading, you'll go ahead and click Download anyway. The download will begin. And once it's finished, go back to the How to Geek page Keep in mind, you don't want to install anything yet. We're just downloading all the files for now and then we'll install them afterwards. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the Google Services Framework. Click the link for your tablet, scroll down to Download APK, click the button, and then click Download anyway. Once that's finished, go back to the How to Geek website. Now scroll to the Google Play Services section and click the link for your specific tablet once again. Now it's gonna take you to another website where you'll choose from a variety of links. Make sure to choose the one closest to the top that doesn't have beta in the name. You wanna make sure that there's no beta in the title of that link. Click that link, then once again, scroll to download APK, click it, and if that message pops up, hit continue anyway. Let's finally download the final APK file Go back to the How to Geek website and scroll to Google Play Store. You also want to choose the link that doesn't have beta in the name closest to the top. I ran into some issues with that top download, but that may be for my Fire 7 tablet that I have personally. It might work for your Fire tablet if you have a different model. But the link that I chose was the third one from the top. That one seemed to work for me. It had APK next to it and it also said Android 5.0 Plus in parentheses. So click the link, scroll to download APK, and download it. Click continue anyway and wait for it to finish downloading. Once that's finished, you'll now have the four files you'll need to install the Google Play Store. So head over to your files icon and under downloads, you should see those four files there. Now we're gonna install those four files onto your tablet, but keep in mind, we have to install them in a specific order. First, start with the file that says com.google.android.gsf.login. Click that file, hit continue, then install. Once that's finished, Hit done. Now go to the file that says com.google.android.gsf, click it, hit continue, then install, then done. Now you're gonna install com.google.android.gms, click it, continue, install, and done. Finally, click the com.android.vending file, continue, install, and done. Once that's finished, now we're gonna restart the Fire tablet, so hold down the power button and then click restart. 
Once your tablet is back on, you should see on your home screen the Google Play Store icon. You can click it, log in with your Google account, and now you have access to all the applications on the Google Play Store. You can download the official YouTube application, the Chrome browser, Gmail, and more. All those applications will now work on your Fire tablet. You might have some issues with the application not working right, that could be normal and really there's nothing you can do about that. But for the most part, those applications should run just fine on your Fire tablet since Fire OS is just Android with a heavy skin on it. Now you have all of your favorite Android applications right on your Fire tablet, which makes the Fire tablet so much better. Here's a YouTube application. It works just as you would expect. And now you can head over to this channel, Retether Tech, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Hopefully you found this video helpful Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.